uh, children previously we have seen microbiology what are the microbes microbes are said smaller animals we have seen already first we have seen virus study of virus is known as virology and we have seen bacteria and we have seen the different shapes structures everything bacteriology and fungi mycology then algae algology protozoans protozoology in this we have seen virus that is virus and bacteria they are prokaryotes and fungi and algae they are eukaryotes i said what are the difference between them and protozoan they are microorganism which cause diseases as well as some useful effects also on the under the protozoan we have studied about five organisms and we have seen what are the uses of that protozoa we, we have seen ciliates flagellate this these are what i said locomotory organs ciliate flagellate and pseudopods sporozoans and ciliate size says example the flagellate we have seen they they are the locomotory organs pseudopods false leg i said example amoeba and we have seen the structure of amoeba and sporozoans i said plasmodium actually malaria is caused by plasmodium only anopheles mosquito is only vector this is uh, that is carrier this is vector so this only we got it now we have seen what are the uses of microbes we have seen medical uses already and then next to medical uses we have seen now it is useful in agriculture then we have to see how to use this one in day to day life that is how we are using it daily so daily we have to use this microbes making of bread day to day life we have to see making of bread that is you know it's in bakeries bakery illa pakka poningna bread will be very soft it's a wheat flour only that makes it soft because of some microbes act on it this process is known as what fermentation the bread is soft aga denu solva namba fermentation this is because of yeast yeast is a microorganism which present in the flour and makes it soft then the same like we are preparing curd you know what is curd cheese and all the things they are the milk products they are also fermented by what bacteria only and the human intestines we can see the human intestine in our intestines lactobacillus a bacteria is there it present in our bacteria and it helps us to digest all the complicated substances into simpler and it helps in food preservation also microbes are helping food preservation it preserves the food we know what are the ways of pre preparing pickling you know the pickles are preserved pickling means you know the excess of salt salt is the mess. salt is acting as a microbe salt then add oil everything you pour more and make 
the thing preserved. Uh, preserved means what? Seth vekar dhan so that is keeping up safe. That is for spoil agama, it should not be get spoiled. So pickling we are using, fermentation I said already and boiling, boiling the substances. Here bacteria act on that and avoid the poisonous thing, sugaring, adding sugars in that. Adding sugars in the food products, we can make it of what? Preservation and modern techniques also there, that is pasteurization. What is pasteurization? That is boiling milks continuously for 20 minutes and that what are the inter inner microbes there that can be destroyed by the boiling. This is known as what? Pasteurize. That is allowing the milk to boil for 20 minutes, then we are cooling off and make to freeze. This is known as what? Pasteurization. Freezing the inner two. Now, we dry it. We can put it in the solid. We can put it in the pasteurization. So, harmful microorganisms. These, so far, we have seen what are the uses of microorganisms. They are not only used in one field, they are used in all the fields medical, agricultural, day to day life, industry, everywhere it is useful. We have seen what are the things. Then, what are the Harmful activities of bacteria, that is microbes. So useful as well as harmful. Harmful mostly they cause diseases, not only for the human beings, even for the plants and animals also. Let me say, what are the diseases the plants suffered with it? Huh? Let. Now see the diseases now. This is discussed by the microbes. First one, citrus canker. Citrus fruits. What are the things come under, in, uh, come under citrus fruits? That is orange, gooseberry, this and all comes under citrus. We have seen the spots on the top of the fruit. That is what? Canker. Citrus canker is a kind of disease. Disease of the plant caused by the microbe. That is, uh, bacteria's name and all given the Xanthomenas, then potato also, it is suffered by the diseases, potato blat. And food and mouth. They got ulcer in that, mainly for the newborn babies, uh, babies up to the babies which are crawling, they got the disease, crawling babies. This is food and mouth ulcer they used to say. This is because of a particular virus only. Then other thing for human being as well as animal, which is which are the common diseases, tuberculosis. That is nothing else, TB we as used to say, no. Nowadays it, it is highly controlled because of the vaccines found by the, from the microbes. Cholerae, you know what it is. That is continuous common cold this is continuous dehydration is known as what cholery dehydration removing water from our body then amoebic dysentery malaria these are the diseases caused by the microbes citrus canker and potato it's purely for the Plants and food, food and mouth also, tuberculosis, cholery, common cold and malaria, these are for the human beings. These are the diseases caused by microbes. So, let us recall again what are the things we have studied. What are the microbes, virus and everything we have, virus, bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoans, protozoans, we have seen many, bacteria structure we have seen. Then what is the science known about, particularly one subject on the science in and path, what are the uses of the microbes we have seen, they are used in all the fields, medical field and other field and, and we are, lastly we are coming to the diseases, what are the diseases, citrus canker, potato, food and mouth ulcer, tuberculosis, cholera, common cold and malaria, all these diseases 
we are created by the virus only from the same virus or bacteria only we are getting the vaccine also so the tadupu marundu solranga paranga antibiotic this antibiotics also we got from the same from which it is caused from the same only we found the um, solution also so we have said already alexander fleming he found penicillium penicillin was found by him it is antibiotic injection and edward jenner he found the vaccine for smallpox and mmr i said mmr it uh, three diseases can be cured measles mumps and rubella these are the kinds of pox so all the things are created uh, cleared by mmr nowadays even polio polio is a greatest uh, thing but can be eradicated in the last 4 years 5 years nowadays there is no polio this polio also because of virus only so whatever it may be either it is bacteria or microbes or non microbes there are some uses as well as abuses also so we have to use this we have to do study detail about it and what are the prevention methods you have to follow and to cure the diseases so let us see again what are the things we come across so we have seen virus micro microbiology so special science that is we have studied about microbes only and i said what are the microbes what are the differences between eukaryote and prokaryote let me say again prokaryote eukaryote so prokaryote no well developed nucleus here what we say no there we have to say what is yes. it has well developed nucleus already i said just i am re recalling next one it doesn't have cell organelles it has cell organelles there is no proper nuclear membrane here there is no proper nuclear membrane here nuclear membrane is present this is the thing to prokaryotes and eukaryotes what are the differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes and now we have to study about the sciences that is virus bacteria bacteriology so enna subject edukkaramo adunodu kuda logy seekrom that's all and now it is useful to us so we have we got a clear picture of uh, protozoans bacteria virus everything nowadays though we cannot see the fungi and all you can see from our wheat flour wheat flour godum maula ninga wo wheat la open a therandu vechirundha kuda you can see some extra growth from that that is what fungi protozoans i say then now it is control everything we have seen so if you have the thing what are the relationship between the man microbes and everything because everything together abbi irundha da ungalku enna agum ungalku correct ah it will be balanced so plants should be the from the plants certainly we have to get the diseases the diseases can be created by viruses medicines also we are getting from virus without microbes there is no virus vaccines so microbiology this is balancing microbes are namak romba disease irukku the destroy pannirala nu sonna adanal namak benefits irukku so we have to consider all those things in this lesson okay children I'll, by this i'll complete this lesson only one lesson that lesson entirely explain what are the things the only thing i have to give question and answers that we'll see in the next class okay thank you